Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and we're here today to look at the voltage on the grounding system. And as you can see we've got a plug and the lead comes out and connects onto the positive probe of the multimeter and the negative probe is actually connected out to a non-electrified grounding rod in the garden. And going across the two probes we've got this 470 ohm resistor to put a load on the system. And this system has actually been logged for the last few days. And you can see the maximum value that we recorded. This is a minimum maximum meter. And the maximum value which is currently shown is 1.31 volts. And I have another video that I did just before this that was done without the low resistor. And you'll see a very similar value on that video. That video actually showed 1.35 volts. So it's a conclusion I've come to at my home that you don't really need this resistor in at my home because the current availability on the grounding system is so high. It's actually over 60 milliamps of current availability on my grounding system. And the interesting thing about that availability is it only takes 20 milliamps to kill a person. So you need to be very, very careful about this stray voltage in wet areas. And this field was extensively developed in the 1970s in the dairy industry as they were noticing that cows were getting very, very sick. And the sickness was wide ranging and nobody really understood it for the longest time. But in the 1970s they started to realize that the flooring of the cow sheds was electrified with this stray voltage from the grounding system. And also the machinery that milked the cows was also electrified with this stray voltage. And they've established that anything over half a volt seriously affects cows. And it's probably the same for humans. That certainly the farmers have noticed that when their cows are being affected by this, that the farmers and their families are also affected at the same time. So it definitely affects humans in very similar ways to how it affects the cows. And something to be aware of is, you know, you should characterize your grounding system on your home and if you start seeing it get high, as it is at my home, you should start querying as to whether it's making you sick. And you can find extensive documentation online about stray voltage simply by typing in stray voltage cows into a search engine. And you'll find you'll get a lot of hits showing you what this actually does to animals. So that's stray voltage for you. So my conclusion with stray voltage right now, particularly at my home, is that you don't need this resistor. And I actually research the dry human body voltage. And this meter has an input impedance of probably in the range of mega ohms. And uh, that also matches very well the dry human input resistance. And that's typically in the range of mega ohms as well. So that's the reason why I generally don't put the resistor in because I actually research the dry human body voltage exposure as opposed to the wet human body voltage exposure, which was very well researched back in the 1970s during the research that was done with cows in milking parlors. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.